Hello everyone, thanks for coming outside with me today. Today I would like to talk about how I went from a full length climbing stick with all the weight and added bulk down to my own DIY mini sticks. So first off, I really love this stick. This is an API hunting stick. It comes around 79 to 90 bucks uh, for a three pack. Uh, I've swapped it out for the Versa button to do a rope mod with eight millimeter accessory cord. I'll put a link down to that video in the description as well. I love the double step feature. I love that it's made out of aluminum which makes it very lightweight and getting rid of that cam buckle strap and going with the rope mod is also uh, a very nice weight saving tip you can't do the rope mod with the original button it's too long it sticks out too far uh, from the stick you can't get that Chinese finger trap uh, feel with the rope and it would slip off the tree very dangerously so so you have to do the lone wolf versa button as that modification but with all the pros of this stick it's still a heavier stick than a lot of other sticks on the market like the hawk Heliums or the lone wolf sticks which have the alternating steps and that's just because it's a thicker gauge of the wall of the aluminum I've taken a caliper and measured it it does come out a 30 second heavier which doesn't sound like a whole lot but when you add that over the full length of the stick and then you add the double steps and the three steps of double steps it really builds up weight fast and I really wanted to shave weight and shave bulk being 32 inches long it's pretty big to either put on a tree stand or I personally like to wear a Badlands monster pack and and stick them horizontally across the bottom of the pack and I was snagging them on trees and branches and all sorts of stuff and it was just causing me a real headache in the woods so I wanted to shorten them down plus also I don't need this super short step spacing this is only 14 and a half inches from top of step to top of step I'm 6'4 I got real long legs I could easily do 21 22 even 24 inch step spacing so something like this it was too big I had to take care of it. So around the beginning of the season, Bass Pro was running yet another sale on these, $79.99. I'll put a link down in the description below to where I found these sticks. It seems though that they are impossible for them to keep in stock. I don't know if that's just because they just don't have enough of them that come in. They are made in China, but I don't know if that's how they have enough come in or if they just don't want to sell them or the demand is really that high, but I'll put the link down there anyway and hopefully you can catch it. Um, so I did buy another set. I left my current set uh, as the full length sticks with the rope mod and I built these mini sticks. So in order to build these mini sticks, I knew that I was going to want more than just the two steps. Uh, these are still left at the original 14 and a half inch step spacing, but I added an aider and this aider is at a 19 inch step spacing. And that's kind of because of just tying the knots, um, but also because I didn't want it to be too long. Like I said, I can handle a 21, 22 inch step spacing, but that's in jeans or in the early season when I'm wearing thinner clothes. When I start putting on camo bibs and I start getting a lot of underlayers, my knees just can't move up as far as they can in those thinner clothes. So I kept it down to about a 19. Uh, between the three sticks, it's between 19 and 21 inches. And that's just because I just can't tie knots <laughs> that are all equally the same length that allows this rope to be the same length. But it's still a very easily handled aider length for me. And of course, you can change it depending on your height. Now this rope here is 7 millimeter accessory cord from REI. I have a piece of garden hose which allows it to sit very open. I don't have an issue with this. Uh, getting a large boot in here, I wear a size 12 boot, particularly when they're big thermal boots that's a lot of width coming into here also because they're kind of a fixed aider and they're separated on either side of the step here they don't swing very easily it takes a pretty good gust of wind to get that to move so in a standard 5 10 mile an hour wind you'll get something like this as it goes on that side of the tree and they don't blow around as much as a webbing aider in particular those long ones like a three or five step etrier that you can get from black diamond off of rei or some other website they'll really move in the wind unless you bring it up with you and and I didn't want to have a movable aider. I wanted to have something that was fixed. And at this length, this 19 to 21 inch length, it also works really well as just sticking it over the top end of the stick and allows me to have a, uh, uh, stacking system that works really well but also they don't fall off very easily as you see the garden hose might slide around but it'll still allow me to stack them I elected to stay with the original API button which you can tell is a lot fatter and a lot farther out than the lone wolf buttons I elected to stay with them because I just didn't want to buy more lone wolf buttons and also because of the short uh, area like I said 14 and a half inches from top of step to top of step the cam cleats or the uh, the, the tree cleats are even a lot closer together so I was kind of worried about 
buck kick out and cam buckles just can really secure the stick to the tree. So I left the original button on here and used the straps. I still save a ton of weight by shaving off all that aluminum off the bottom and that extra step and we'll get to that here in a second. So in order to go from this down to a mini stick you basically are working with this top half of the stick. I don't own a drill press and I don't trust myself to drill extra pre-drilled holes. So I could for example have cut this stick off here and drilled a hole for the button right here but that didn't make so much sense to me. So what I did was I just took the math off of this stick right 32 inches uh, end to end and then where the placement of the Versa button is from the top of the stick and that comes out to a rough percentage and when I just take off this part of the stick and I flip all of the gear it ends up being approximately the same math so this is 17 and a half inches the placement of the Versa button it's almost identical to the percentage of where it is in terms of where it's placed on the stick than it does with the full length stick so I had no qualms about cutting this off here and flipping the hardware so this cam cleat and this stick just get flipped around here so now the step is facing this way and this step just gets flipped around and faced the other way. There's no harm in doing that. They're omnidirectional. You can do them up or down. It does not matter. So now the stick essentially that I'm working with is from here down. This has been flipped around and this has been flipped around and of course I needed this tree bracket here to come down in here with the longer bolt. So here's a section of what was left over. Here would be the original uh, uh, bracket on the one side uh, for that we go to the tree and then your original step location. You could cut this off with an angle grinder. I just so happen to have a miter saw with a metal cutting blade, but all I did was basically mark it. Remember that I'm marking it backwards. So remember that I'm marking it from the top down, flipping it, and then appropriately putting the verse, leaving the verse button where it is and just using the steps just in reverse direction. Now it's left at 17 and a half inches because you need to be able to stack these. And if you cut it too short, you won't be able to stick one tree cleat over top of the stick in the other direction. So let me get another mini stick and show you what I'm talking about. So in order for these sticks to stack together and still be clipped together in my pack through the woods without falling apart, I had to leave that top part. You see that piece of exposed aluminum on both sides. Now this one doesn't have a cap because I broke it off, but the idea is still the same. I run the aider on the underside going over the tree cleat and that allows me to still have the location of the tree cleat that clips onto the stick beneath it and that still allows the aluminum on the top to be exposed for the next stick to be put on top. So as you can see, I can't run them this way because now I'm stuck off the bottom and I have nothing to attach it here on this end. Also, the Versa button holes don't line up with each other. So if I stack it on top, it allows me to stick them together and now they're firmly secured and now I can put as many of these on as I want. I could stack as many, they would just keep kind of leaning that way. I just left it as three. You could get another set and run four or five if you really wanted to, but that extra length, that 17 and a half, leaves plenty of play. I have extra room to go up and down if I don't set it up perfectly in the dark, but it's a great system. I'm very thankful I figured out that math the first time instead of cutting them too short later. Now originally I thought I was going to get away and potentially be able to take one of the remaining pieces and maybe Maybe find a drill press and be able to make a fourth yeah granted it's gonna be a lot shorter it's gonna be about a 14 inch stick I thought maybe I'd be able to make that but I do get the extra feet the extra step sticks if you will but I don't get any extra tree cleats so unfortunately I'm kind of still stuck with three sticks which is kind of a shame and now that they're cut I can't go back if I wanted something full length so that's something to also keep in mind if you wanted to build another stick with the parts that are left over you would have to buy uh, uh, two extra tree cleats from uh, XOP or Lone Wolf. I don't think API will sell them separately. I haven't looked into it, uh, but if you really wanted to, you could make a whole bunch of little tiny mini sticks, mini mini sticks, and uh, add some more to your arsenal if you wanted. Although I have a feeling though, with the tree cleats added and the steps and everything, they probably wouldn't stack well. So you're probably up the creek without a paddle either way. Also very briefly, I wanted to touch on my platform. Now this, along with the sticks, is 100% DIY. It is not recommended. No tree stand manufacturer is gonna tell you to A, cut their sticks down, or B, use an old steel tree stand as your platform. Uh, you are doing this at your own risk, and I fully understand that. I'm really hoping that one day I can get a predator <laughs> predator platform or something similar so I can feel a lot safer in the tree. Not that I don't feel unsafe on this, but 
when you DIY anything, it comes with the uh, wrists and it comes with the territory. So this is an old steel tree stand. I think it might have been like an old field and stream tree stand. Uh, this is strictly the seat portion. So as you can see here, the platform that you would stand on would have come out from the bottom. Uh, this is just the, uh, the tower and the seat. So I stand on this part of the seat and I added the six point XOP bracket from my XOP Vanish tree stand onto the back. I did have to drill this hole and I had leftover uh, API buttons from my first uh, uh, Lone Wolf rope mod set and so that allowed me to add this button here then this one already had a small bracket that comes with the tree stand on the back so I just ran the longer bolt through and used one of my leftover API buttons for it and then I run two cam straps so when I put this onto the tree I'll put the uh, top button uh, strap on first run around the tree get it as tight as I can and then I'll lift this out away from the tree a little bit pull it down and that'll kind of it's not a cam action but it really tightens up that top strap and it kind of will sit slightly at an angle then I can bring this bottom in with the bottom strap and I will tell you what it is rock solid it does not go anywhere um, it's not going to be as secure as some of the can cam over like a predator platform or the out on the limb podium platform uh, but in terms of a DIY setup I am tickled pink I added this um, felt here this is self back adhesive felt uh, i thought about going with something with self uh, stealth strips from stealth outdoors uh, but this adhesive felt is the stuff you put on the bottom of lamps and coasters so it doesn't uh, scuff up a wooden table or something like that and this holds up just fine it allows to have a, a much warmer touch in cold weather and also will eliminate some of but not all of the metal it deadens it significantly so I am one that if I'm going to have something clank against something else, it's going to happen to me. So adding that little bit of felt down the uh, sides and across the cross braces uh, allows it to be a little bit quieter while I'm flinging those cam buckles around getting up and down the tree. Now I will also say I do like this platform for one particular thing and that is the fact that this seat can go all the way up parallel with the tree. So what that means is I can be standing on my top stick and I can set this either off to my left or to my right of the top stick depending on which side of the tree I want to hang from in the saddle. And I can set this up with the seat down, you know, get the, pull it out, bring it on, all that sort of stuff. And then I don't have to unclip my lineman's belt. This is something that uh, those of us that run hang and, hunt, uh, hang and hunt setups have really had to deal with. In this case, I just lift this up against the tree and then I just climb up and my lineman's belt goes over top of this around the tree. I can then, once I'm above it, leaning on still on top of my uh, top stick, then I can pull it down, then I can just climb up, still connected with my lineman's belt. So at no point do I have to fish with the tether, get it tied up above, unclip the lineman's belt, shimmy up the tree. I just literally push this up, throw my lineman's belt over top of it, climb up the tree, push this down, then step onto the platform, and I never once have to be unhooked or add a second line or anything like that. Now, I think that is incredibly slick. Um, that's something you can't get with a cam over platform because uh, once you push it up like that, it kind of loses its cam over. Although you can cam it over again, obviously, once you get up above it and step down onto it. But that has really been nice for me because that's something I always had to fiddle with my hang and hunt setups. You got to add the tether, then unclip the lineman's belt, then step up into the stand. And it just kind of felt just a little bit uh, unsecure. Um, not that you were going to fall anywhere because you are tethered in, but it was just one less thing, one carabiner to throw around the tree, one less thing to tie off. And I do like that, although it is a DIY platform and not perfect, uh, I do like that addition. This uh, cord here in the front just gives me a little bit of traction, and also with my rubber muck boots in the earlier part of the season when it's not too cold, if this is wet, these will squeak. So when I'm standing on this or standing on this part of the platform, I can keep my heels on it, and it will not squeak when the weather is wet. So I hope that video is informative for you. If you have any further questions, please do leave a comment here. Uh, hit me up on Facebook and Instagram. My email's even down there if you want that more personal touch. Hope you're able to get outside, enjoy the sport of archery. Archery hunting, definitely, if you so choose. Of course, enjoy God's beautiful creation, and we'll get to see you next time.